Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we saved Paladin Dance from the Brotherhood of Steel's strict hatred against anything and everything synthetic. Uh, and I said that we were going to return to Virgil because I forgot to give him the serum that we picked up at the Institute, which hopefully will reverse his condition and make him into a normal human being. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? How evil do you have to be to press X on this one? Why would you ever do that? You can't get any use out of that serum. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Mm-hmm. I know some of these words. Intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. So it's good. There's only one way to find out. All right. Here we go. And now, we wait. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Well, now we literally play the waiting game. Uh, there will be a notification on the left there, as a part of our miscellaneous objectives, once we can return to Virgil. So hopefully that will happen before this Let's Play ends. It should. I don't see how we are going to complete this LP uh, before like a week of game time. Anyways, in the last episode we were doing tactical thinking. We need to enter the Old North Church, which is of course the headquarters of the railroad, and completely and utterly obliterate them. Okay, so you might have noticed that we weren't actually able to travel back into the railroad. I guess we wouldn't have been able to do that anyways, since uh, we never actually fully joined the railroad. This is so much better than the last time I did this quest, because the last time I didn't realize you can only side with one faction. I started doing the Institute's, the Institute's uh, side quest, and the Institute has you kill all of the railroad as well, but... It's cooler because you have to go in there by yourself. You don't have any backup. And I just walked in there and basically fired mini nukes all over the place. Even though I had done most of their quests. Um, and that, that was a weird feeling, betraying them. Because I didn't want to do that, but there was literally no other way you had to kill all of them. Okay, so obviously we've walked right into the middle of a battle here. Uh, we have an objective to kill Dr. Carrington, who's actually going to be that man right there. So that's a decent chunk of damage. And there we go, Dr. Carrington is dead. We I don't even think we had one interaction with Dr. Carrington though. Breach the door to the lower levels. Okay, hopefully we will be able to loot these people once this quest is over. Because I don't want to stay out there, wide out in the open. That's not going to fare well. Okay, luckily we have a bunch of Brotherhood of Steel giving us some backup we have zero fat men well this guy's dead um, but we do have a missile launcher which is terrible to use this close so you my friend wow wow I miss a point-blank shotgun blast all right do we have any grenades we should yes take that my good sir are you see this is what I always think about when I watch war scenes in movies, how in the world could you possibly tell people apart to the point of, you know, good reaction time? Like, God, see, I didn't know if that guy was Brotherhood or if that guy was Railroad, and he was pretty distinguishable as a Railroad agent. But still, like, I had to pause. And that pause could be the difference between life or death, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, time to use a couple of stim packs because we are about to die. Oh my god, what happened to my Brotherhood reinforcements? Are you telling me that the railroad outlasted them? Okay, let's grab whatever's in here. Keep forgetting to use 
purified water. Okay. Let's go back down here and... Oh my god, this does no damage! This stupid shotgun never does any damage. Okay, take that. Now, let's use two more Simpacks. Okay, hopefully that killed them. These people have me in a corner, which is not good. Let's go over here. Alright, you hold off there, my friend. I'll be back for you in a second. I wonder how many grenades we have left. Uh, whatever the case, let's throw one through here again. That killed somebody. Okay. Let's loot all these bodies, because they're going to have a lot of ammo. A lot of people, you know, they've been telling me to modify my weapons, and yeah, I know it's a big part of this game, and yeah, I've talked about this before. Oh! And I was just about to say, this shotgun shouldn't be doing this little damage, regardless of whether I mod it or not. But man, that just killed him instantly, didn't it? So, never mind. Okay, let's move on. Let's make sure to search every single body, get that much-needed ammo. Yes, fusion cells are what I like to see. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And you have nothing. Alright, let's go back into sneak. And move slowly and carefully. Let's get our righteous authority out because this shotgun is a piece of crap. Obviously some stuff going on back over here. Okay, we have no more grenades. And it's time for the missile launcher. Okay, Brotherhood of Steel. Knights, get away from me. You are, like, literally making me stuck on everything. Punch you in the face. Here, grab that 308 ammo. Grab that 308 ammo. And you are Brotherhood, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. We need to break back into this. No, we don't. We just need to activate this detonator. Oh, hello there. All right. Great spot for a grenade. Unfortunately, we don't have any. So we're going to use the next best thing. Shoot a missile and miss that guy completely. Okay. Let's see. Fire missile straight through the middle there. So satisfying. I feel like Luke Skywalker destroying the Death Star. Okay, let's see. What do we got over here? Boom. Boom. I was going to say the combat music stopped, but... Appears we have more targets. Okay, boom, boom. I don't think we killed any important people yet, though. Looks like they're all going to be held out in the actual Railroad HQ. Okay, so luckily it puts us on the high ground as soon as we come into here, so we do have, like, the first shot. This would be a great spot for a mini nuke, but we only have missiles. So, the question is, do we have any stealth boys? I don't think we do. No, we don't. How do we not have one stealth boy? Alright, so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six targets, and no one seems to be alerted that the Brotherhood is in here. Oh, there goes our element of surprise okay I wanna I wanna target not one of these random railroad agents there we go okay let's go ahead and fire two missiles with vats see how much damage that does wow that's a lot of damage someone's arm just came clean off sorry about this Tinker Tom but uh it's time for you to die man this is a slow reload time boom right to the torso Goodbye, my friend. I really wish that he exploded into a giant gut-ridden paste. Or destroy Pam. I definitely don't want to destroy Pam. I'd rather reprogram her. Okay, that's Drummer Boy. They can still hit me from up here, which kind of sucks. Um, we have 17 missiles left. I think we can just fire missiles, like, right down here, and we'll do damage. Yeah, it's definitely doing damage. Just don't know how much. Oh, God. Go into the uh, menu quick. Boom, boom. Okay, that was close. That's Deacon. About to blow his feet off. And goodbye. Okay, let's see. We got two targets left. I think it's definitely Desdemona. And looks like it's Glory. So goodbye, Glory. And all we have left is Desdemona. I believe. Let's reload this. And we'll kill her with a rocket. 
Goodbye, Desdemona. And the railroad. No! Come on! Wow, she got into cover. Okay, good for her. That was going to be so cinematic, too. Okay, time to die. They really need to blow up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. When you kill Desdemona, I, I think she said Sam, but she says, like, blank, I'm coming home, which gives a little bit of backstory that you don't really hear from any other source. Okay, time to loot the dead bodies of all of these righteous people. Railroad HQ key. Uh, railroad spikes or railway spikes and a railway rifle, which we haven't got yet, but we will definitely pick that up. One of my favorite weapons in Fallout 3. I've mentioned that before. It's actually my favorite custom weapon. Okay, I don't think there's actually anything really lootable in this place. Um, I remember doing this before, and I remember there's not a bunch of stuff other than this stuff. Which we can steal, because no one else is in here to see me do that. Even though it does make me feel a little bit uneasy, because I hate stealing in Fallout games. Alright, let's see. We definitely want to loot Glory. Hopefully we have enough to take that minigun, although we do have the minigun that deals extra damage to ghouls. So as you can see, there's not really any containers or anything. There's a couple stim packs, which is good. It's actually a duffel bag over here. Didn't mean to take that out. Put that away. Nope. Nope. Don't do that. Boom, boom. Okay, put that away. There we go. Alright, let's go reprogram Pam. Um, okay, I think we need to go to the terminal, actually. And we need to load a holo tape. Where is it? Pam Decryption Program. There we go. Alright, Pam Decryption start. Pam unit has been reset to default command mode. And our mission is completed. That went pretty smooth, I must say. Uh, I thought this was going to be pretty damn difficult. But it wasn't that difficult, actually. Thanks to our missile launcher. A mini nuke would have just killed them all, like, instantly. But, uh, yeah, we're out of those. Alright, so I think we're done here. Like I said, there's not much to loot in this place. Didn't loot that guy, though. So, let's head back to the Pridman. Alrighty, well, the Brotherhood better be damned impressed with me. I pretty much killed the entire railroad single-handedly. I mean, there was some Brotherhood of Steel in there, but they didn't do too much. Now let's go talk to our buddy Kells. Captain. Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. I was just following your orders. As you should be, Paladin. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Alright, no level up out of this, I'm assuming. Uh, nope. Okay, we need to go talk to Proctor Ingram. So everyone get ready to hear an incredibly loud announcement every single time we come into this place. I mean, literally, it is so much louder than anything else in this game, I think. Uh, which we will see in a few seconds, because it happens every single time. There's always an announcement, and it's not always the same one, which is nice attention to detail on Bethesda's part, but it's just so loud. Ready? Attention. There we go. This is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. All right. That is all. How's it going, Like you've been through the ringer, Paladin. I'd say that I blame you. That was a hell of a business with dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. Believe me, it wasn't easy. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm sorry you had to be the one to handle the dirty work. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. And I'm betting you know right where to find it. Of course I do. I didn't become head of ship maintenance just because of my good looks, you know. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. 
dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The Agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. You, uh... You doing a workout there, Ingram? What's going on with your leg? It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby, waiting to drop us off on the roof of the mass fusion tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands. Alrighty. Looks like Liberty Fly to the Mass Fusion building or inform the Institute. So as you can see, we can still choose which faction we want to side with. Spoiler alert, we're going to be siding with the Brotherhood. Uh, let's see what we got in this duffel bag, though. Don't need mines. Need grenades. Yeah, I don't want to start that quest in this episode, so we'll do a little bit exploring on the Pridwin, a little bit of exploring on the Pridwin, and then we'll go talk to the uh, Quartermaster, I think. So there's a Nuka-Cola Quantum down here. We will take that and add it to our collection. Also, there's a pretty interesting terminal. Uh, you guys probably want to read this. I would read this if I was you, but I have already read it. So pause the video if you'd like to read this stuff because it's pretty interesting. Also, our map was updated for some reason. Um, the only thing I remember about this terminal is that they talk about, like, a record, like a contest they have to see who can fall from the highest height in their power armor and survive. And I think the world record was from Trinity Tower. Okay, let's see. Where was that? We need to go up these stairs. And talk to what is this guy's name? Tegan. Heard you cleaned house over at Railroad HQ. You could probably use some fresh supplies. Yeah. I'm looking for some firepower. All of my weapons are mission ready. Okay, now let's see if we have anything to sell first. The minigun, because we have a Ghoul Slayer's minigun. Let's see. Railway rifle. Should we keep that? How much ammo do we have? We have 155 spikes. I haven't really used that weapon extensively in this game, so I'm not sure how powerful it is, but we'll keep it. Let's see. Do we want to sell anything else? Nope. How about apparel? Martyr's left leg. Only 29 caps. A legendary item is only worth 29 caps. That's pretty terrible. Uh, both on this character and my other character, I've been pretty much saving every legendary item, even though they're not unique just been like saving them in a collection okay nothing there miscellaneous nothing there junk we're gonna keep all the junk there's the medic uh, thing that we got from the last episode okay I usually do like selling any and all ammo that I don't use such as flamer fuel 200 caps that's decent how many caps does Tegan have 707 flares yeah well I don't see a well it's only one cap per flare so no that's not good um how are fusion cores categorized as ammo gamma round yeah we're not going to use those too much and that's putting him over the threshold by about 200 caps so we'll go with that and let's see what he has i'm mostly interested in ammo but he has a unique missile launcher um let's see no unique Oh no, never mind. He has a commando chest piece, commando helmet, and honor. Increases action point, refresh speed. But this is all power armor, I think. Power armor frame, junk, mods, and ammo. Let's get all his 308. Let's get all his 10 millimeter. 556. You don't use that too often in this game, I've noticed. At least I don't. As much as like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. That was the ammo of choice. But I haven't really had a need for it that much in this game. Um, missiles, yeah, how much is that going to be? Wow, that's pretty steep. So, let's reset that. Yeah, and let's go back and get that 308. 10 millimeter. And I think the shotgun shells is all we need. Yeah, there we go. And we're left with about 1,500 caps. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. In the next one, we will get started on the Mass Fusion Quest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys there.